Here we're asked to rewrite this quadratic equation in this form and determine the vertex. If we can do that, then we can read the equation and the vertex will be h comma k. We begin by grouping the first two terms. The goal is to complete the square, and if you remember, the leading coefficient is required to be one when we do that. So in this case, I'll factor out negative two, and that'll leave us with x squared plus six x. Notice here now, the leading coefficient is one. The value that completes the square is b over two squared. And in this case, b is six. So six over two squared is equal to three squared or nine. So the idea is to add nine and subtract nine on the same side of the equation. This doesn't change anything. Now when we do that, we can factor these three terms. These three terms will factor into a perfect square trinomial. In this case, we have x squared factors x times x. Nine factors three times three and adds up to six if we write x plus three times x plus three. And then we have minus nine. In other words, we have negative two times x plus three squared minus nine plus three. Now at this point, we apply the distributive property and multiply both of these terms by negative two. And we have negative two times x plus three squared plus 18 plus three. And then finally, negative two times x plus three squared plus 21. So this is the equivalent in vertex form. Well, not quite. Notice vertex form requires a negative here and a positive there. And we have a positive. To fix this, we can simply write y then equals negative two times x minus negative three squared plus 21. Now here we can see h is negative three and k is 21. Therefore, the vertex in this case is negative three comma 21.